What's going on everyone? My name is Jasmine. On today's episode of The Slam Project, we're going to be talking about 34-year-old Drew Ballantyne. He was reported missing on July 1st, 2022 in Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. He was supposed to meet his mom for lunch a couple days prior and he never arrived. Don't forget to check out my other videos and if you want to see more videos on missing and murdered Indigenous people, click that subscribe button and the notification bell. Now let's get right into it. Drew Ballantyne was born on May 9th, 1988 to parents Loretta and Roy. Drew, his siblings and parents lived in Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. The family is originally from Pelican Narrows. At the time Drew went missing, he was 34 years old and a father to an eight-year-old boy. Loretta and Drew were very close and spoke every day. Drew was employed as an iron worker in Saskatoon before he got into trouble and was sentenced to federal prison for an unspecified charge. He had plans to get back to work and take care of his son after he was finished with his parole. Loretta attended an MMIP conference in Pelican Narrows and she shared a few details surrounding Drew's disappearance. She said that Drew was born while she was in her third year of her teaching degree. Her LinkedIn profile says that she is currently a vice principal. The Ballantyne family spends their summers at various camps around Saskatchewan. At the time this happened, Loretta was camping 20 minutes away. Drew was spending time at the camp with his son and spent a couple days with him. The day Loretta last saw Drew, on June 28, 2022, they left the camp and went back to her home in Prince Albert. She was having servicemen come over and she needed the basement cleaned. She asked Drew to clean her basement and he did. At about 11 p.m. she told Drew that it was getting late and that she was going to head back to her camp. She told him that his sister Carol Ann could give him a ride to a safe place. Drew would usually stay with Loretta, but he had missed an appointment with his parole officer and his parole was suspended, meaning he would go back to jail the next time he encountered law enforcement. Because of this, Drew stayed with various relatives and friends. Sister Carol Ann dropped Drew off at Loretta's late cousin's granddaughter's house. Drew later texted his mom at 1.47 a.m. This would be the last time she ever heard from him. The message said that he got a deal on a carton, meaning a carton of cigarettes, for $60. He also said that he would meet with her back at the house around lunchtime to finish cleaning. Loretta was asleep when the text message was sent and did not see it until later in the morning. She then responded jokingly, What's a carton? He never responded back. Loretta went back to her house and cleaned up while waiting for him. She said that he sometimes had problems with his phone and wasn't too worried at first. She then started to try to get a hold of him when he didn't show up, but he never responded to any calls or texts. This was on June 29th. Still not hearing from Drew the next day on June 30th, she began to ask his friends if they knew where he was. Some of his friends were known gang members, but nobody admitted to seeing him or made any attempts to help Loretta find him. In the meantime, Loretta was still calling and texting Drew's phone. Someone picked up when she called on June 30th at 9.01 p.m. When the line opened, she asked, Who's this? Where is Drew? And the person hung up. Attempts to call back Drew's phone went unanswered. This alarmed Loretta and she went to file a missing persons report the next day on July 1, 2022. Loretta has been tracking down leads and rumors because the police are slow to respond. At one point, the Prince Albert Police Service, also known as PAPS, told Loretta that they believed Drew was hiding out from his warrant and would continue to believe so until there is evidence of foul play. They also informed her that they do not have the resources to look for someone just because they have a warrant. I am unsure if they still believe this. Here is the timeline of Facebook posts about Drew in the early stages of his disappearance. On June 22, 2022, Saskatchewan Crime Stoppers posted that Drew was unlawfully at large. 
They describe him as being 5 feet 9 inches tall and 193 pounds. Loretta posted Drew was missing on July 1st, 2022. She said that he was last seen at 10 a.m. on June 29th at a house on the 800 block of 14th Street in West Prince Albert. She went on to say that he was supposed to meet her for lunch and never showed up. This is only my speculation, but 10 a.m. could be the time Drew woke up at the house he was dropped off at and left soon after. July 4th was the first day Paps posted asking for information on his whereabouts. They stated that he was reported as a missing person and included his physical description along with a description of his clothing. A second post from Paps was done on July 11th. They stated he was last seen at the residence on 14th Street West and that they believed he was in Saskatoon on June 30th. I am not sure why they thought he was in Saskatoon. They still believe that he was running from his warrant at the time. But remember, someone had answered his phone when his mom called on June 30th. Maybe his phone had pinged there. A third and final post was initiated by Paps on July 27th. The message repeated the same info as previous posts. Drew's mom Loretta has made herself a constant presence on Facebook. She has posted nearly every day Drew has been missing. While I did not read every single one, there were a few posts that did stick out to me. On August 24, 2022, she was able to hack into Drew's Facebook account. She said that she was on there looking for messages someone had sent to him. She said that Drew had her listen to threatening voice messages that were sent to him. On October 14, 2022, Loretta posted about some clues she may have found, but when brought to the attention of Paps, they were of no help. She was especially upset because Drew's friends had done nothing to help find him. They did not seem concerned at all. On October 25, 2022, Loretta said that people were judging Drew's lifestyle as though it was a good reason for him to come up missing. Judgmental opinions about an MMIP's lifestyle only help the perpetrators committing these crimes against them. Nobody asked to come up missing or murdered. Drew's Facebook posts around the time he disappeared were also disturbing. On June 27th, Drew expressed his frustrations about being trapped in the justice system. He had quotations around the sentence, an animal that can't be tamed. Did someone say this to him? He more than likely was upset about his warrant that was going to send him back to prison. He also said that maybe dying would be his only way out. On the same day he was last seen on June 29th, he posted about a disagreement he had with someone. There was no official timestamp on the post, only the date. He said he told someone, F you, and they blocked him. He also talked about his son and loyalty. So what do his final Facebook posts mean? Since I do not know him personally, it is hard to say. But from the outside looking in, it could be possible he was arguing with a female. I am not going to speculate any further on that. This is not the first time tragedy has struck the Ballantyne family. Loretta also had a son named Damien Ballantyne that was murdered on March 22, 2017 in Prince Albert. He was 34 years old at the time. Two men pleaded guilty to lesser charges of manslaughter and they both only received four years for Damien's murder. Loretta has heard numerous rumors about what might have really happened to Drew. But nobody will come forward to the police and go on the record with what they may know. Hearsay and secondhand knowledge are not enough for law enforcement. Drew is very much loved in this by his family. They do not believe that he would run and hide from his warrant and have no contact with them. And they also believe that he would never abandon his son. If you have any information on what happened to Drew Ballantyne, please get the courage to speak up. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'm curious to know what do you think happened to Drew? Let me know in the comments down below and if you knew him, please share any memories of him and I will see you in my next video.